visiting for the first time, welcome. If you like my content, be sure to stick around and subscribe to my channel. Today, we are going to be making an all over onesie. I got this onesie from um, Michaels and it is the Cricut brand onesie. They were on sale and I was able to price match it. So what we'll do is we'll start in Illustrator and we will design our onesie. We will then press the onesie. Okay, let's get started. All right, y'all, so now we're in Illustrator and I've already uploaded the templates of the onesie. Um, what I did to get the template was I took a picture of the actual onesie I then uploaded it into the computer and I traced it. And that is how I got this particular template for the onesie that we're going to do today. If you want me to make a tutorial of how I did it, please let me know and I will happily do so. Okay, so what we're going to do is this is going to be a simple onesie. Um, we are going to do the uh, word art onesie. I've already uh, created the word art. If you want to see a tutorial of that, let me know also, okay? But this is just to show you how I embed everything inside of the onesie. Okay, so I think I want to have uh, a background. So I think we're going to use this water color background and so in order for me to place that in I had to click onto the onesie and then we clicked on to draw inside okay it's the third button over for draw inside and we're just going to place that there and we will make it larger Okay, we're going to do the same exact thing for the uh, back of the onesie, okay? So click onto the onesie. That's not that one. And then we are going to drop and drag, right? And then we're going to just expand it so that it covers the entire onesie. Okay, so next what I'm going to do, uh-oh, it's not fully, uh -oh, no, I'm done. okay, there you go, okay, you just want to make sure everything is covered if you're planning to do an all over onesie. Okay, we are now going to place our clip art inside of our, the front of the onesie. So you will follow the same steps that we did uh, when we placed the background inside. So you're going to click on to draw inside. I'm going to go to place and this is the word art that I want to have inside of the onesie. I am going to resize it <clears throat> a little bit. Okay, and that's it. Now you can click on it to make sure that it's centered. Um, you would typically go to object, align, and um, horizontal center or vertical align center, depending on how you want it centered. I'm pretty happy with this, and we are going to get ready to print this because I'm not going to put anything else onto this onesie, okay? Okay, so now we are printing, and I'm printing from my Epson 15,000. I'm going to click Ignore Artboards. Before we got to the screen, I actually removed the border around uh, the template, okay? So you may want to do that. If not, yours will print out with a black border, and yeah, I don't think you want that on your clothing. 
or whatever you're going to be sublimating on. So just remember to move the uh, border. Okay, and then I'm going to go down here and we are going to tile full pages. I do need to change my page setting because I'm going to print it on 13 by 19, which is the Super B. I'm going to click OK. And oh, don't know if I really want to waste so much paper. Okay, I'm going to go to setup, make sure my settings are correct. Let me go to sublimation printing. Okay, and I am printing paper tray. So paper source is going to be from the paper tray, pre premium presentation paper mat, and best quality. Make sure you always have your image mirrored. Color options. Yeah, everything looks to be good. Okay, and I'm going to send this to the printer. All right, y'all. So as our image prints, I am going to press this just to get the wrinkles out, to loosen up the material a little bit, okay? So I'm just going to put it under here. The heat press is already on. I'm going to put it under and I am going to press it for about 10 seconds, 10 or 15 seconds. It, it is on 400 degrees already, but I'm also going to get remove any lint with the lint roller and just rub it all over. Okay. What I've done this before. And this is important because sometimes, especially if you may be leaving uh, your shirt or onesie white, you don't want to press it or pre-press it and there's something on it because that will go into your material, okay? And I am going to put another piece of butcher paper on top and we are just going to press it for about 10 seconds. Nope. I actually ended up pressing it for about 20 seconds. That is all good. Okay, and we're going to sit it here because we are going to cut the image so that we can start sublimating. All right, y'all. So I am going to get ready to cut the front part of our image out while the rest prints, okay? Okay, guys, so you want to also make sure that you have protection for the inside of your onesie. So, okay. So, put along right here. Just look for that inside. So we're going to place our book of paper inside of the onesie because we don't want that ink to seep through the onesie. I probably should have cut it a little bit more. Too wide. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 
and you want it to go up as much as possible. You may also want to place, if you don't want it on the inside, the color on the inside of the onesie, you may want to put another piece of butcher paper uh, right there behind so that it doesn't go in the back. But I'm not being that picky today. So we are just going to have like this and then we need to protect the arms also. So I am going to place a little bit of butcher paper inside of the arms, okay? Sorry about the noise, y'all. I think my long guy has decided to come today. All right. I'm just going over it again because I've been touching it and yeah, I don't want anything to mess up the onesie okay and so this is really just how this is going to go and you see like i told you before i made it a little bit larger than the actual um than the onesie right. so we are going to cut this out okay Hi right, guys, so I simply cut this out. Um, it's a little yellow, you can't really tell, but it goes right here on this part as a part of the sleeve. So as I tape it, I am going to let it overlap just slightly because I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to have a crease or show any whiteness so just very slightly and I'm going to tape that together that's where it goes Oop. right there so I don't know uh -oh. you guys can't really see so I turned it over so that I could tape it okay and there's a slight 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 overlap and there we have it okay and now what I'm going to do is I am going to tape this we'll cut the back of the onesie out later but for now we are going to tape this down or place it down I just want to make sure you line it up Okay, make sure those sleeves are tucked in there, and you can pretty much, I will flip it over just so that I can see a little better. And then you can tape it from the back. If you want to tape it down a little, just tape it here. Remember, this is the back part of it. So I'll we'll tape it. Okay, the sleeves are on. All right, and now we're ready to place it under the heat press. We are ready to press it. And I'm going to put another piece of butcher paper on top. We are pressing this at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. All right, 
right guys, we are all done. And let's get ready to see what that first side looks like. Yeah, so we're done with pressing the first side. And this is how it came out. As you can see, pretty much all the color is gone, right? But look how pretty. Okay, so we are going to cut the other side. I just wanted to do a comparison. So sometimes we're concerned with um, why does our printout look lighter than um, what the, the computer screen says. But I want you guys to see the comparison of the two together so that you guys can be assured that it is definitely, once it's sublimated onto whatever you're using, the colors will stand out a lot more than what it looks like it will, okay? All right, guys, so I am going to continue. I'm going to cut this side out and I will press that side. I'm just going to flip it over and tape down the back side, and then I am going to show you all the finished product, okay? All right, y'all. So I am done with the onesie. I went ahead and I pressed the back um, with that background that we used, and here's the front. So it was pretty simple. Well, not so simple, but you can do it, okay? You just have to find what images you want. I used the word art um, program online and I was able to create this word cloud to place onto the onesie. And I just used a standard background that I found and it's super cute, okay? So don't be scared to try it. It's easy. Once you do it a few times, you will want to make everything um, all over, okay? So if you guys enjoyed this video, you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and also subscribe to my channel and I will continue posting content. Thank you so much for watching.